my name is Abdul Aziz Muhammad, born and raised in Sudan. I'm here to deliver a speech on behalf of the people who have detained on the Australian Detention Centre. The rule is you are not allowed to have a phone, it's a contraband. I broke that rule, I smuggled a phone inside and I started taking action with that phone. First thing I did is I every day go to the toilet and use the phone inside the toilet for two hours and just try to, I mean, connect my, the, my words and the words of those men with the other part of the world. That's the first action. My second action, despite they, they found that I did it, they took me to the prison, they one month in the prison, one month in the surgery confine, and I signed a paper that I'm not going to speak, but I after they discharge me on the same day I spoke so those are the two actions that I can remember and my last thing I can say I told the immigration in their face that no matter how hard you're gonna push me no matter how hard you're gonna push me you are not going to silence me because what I see this is the, the clear injustice and I need to take the action to be in touch with the NGOs or the civil societies, I search on the internet for the names of any organization, and particularly in Australia. They connected me to the journalists, they put me in touch with many other organizations, until even I and some of my friends, we managed with some of the civil society in Australia to create a small NGO organization that supported I mean, the asylum seekers and refugee in the detention. People are trying to look at you, not as a human being, as a number. So that was the time even motivated myself and five of my friends to stand up. And it's the first time in the history for someone who's been victimized by the, I mean, so-called Western liberal democratic country like Australia to come up here and testimony. And this is a great support that I've, I, I've received from the international community. But bear in mind that is not enough. I need the, the, the international community to keep the solidarity and support alive until everyone from that place who's been incarcerated to get, to get his freedom, to start his own life, start pursuing their dreams. What we are building now is for the next generation because in our time, so many mistakes have been made. So many people of their rights have been abused. So many people, they suffer. But we don't want the next generation to come and face the similar problems. We don't want the next generation to come and deal with our mess. So it's our time to clean our mess and make everything right. So when the generation, next generation come, they can just pick up from there and then go ahead. There is nothing impossible in this planet. And always try to choose, are you going to go with the possible things or are you going to try the impossible one? For myself, I always try the impossible one.